Well, the Sydney to Hobart race is always a star-studded affair. Past crew members have included Sally Fitzgibbons, Lane Beachley and some guy called Carl Stefanovic. Well, this year, new dad Michael Clark and NRL legend Anthony Minicello have said aye aye captain to the Boxing Day race and we can exclusively reveal one of our very own Lisa will be joining them. That's right. And Minnie joins us now from Rose Bay Marina along with Nine Sports presenter Erin Mullen. So, Erin, you are our mystery guest this morning. You're going to do this race. You're a crazy lady. I always knew that. How are you feeling? I, <laughs> I am. I remember when I first applied for a job at Channel 9 and Ken Sutcliffe said to me, we don't want beige. And I think I took it a little bit too literally because <laughs> I've just been adamant to be crazy ever since. But no, it's, it's all for charity. It's absolutely terrifying. I won't lie. I um, get seasick in the bath. I'm, I'm actually a little bit seasick standing here, not even on the boat, but looking at the other boats go like this. So it will be a challenge, but I'm very excited. But Minnie apparently reckons he's a good luck charm, one from one. No. So... Well, one thing's for sure, she will be spewing up, so don't worry about that, and so would I. <laughs> but well, so it's going to be a great race, uh, looking forward to it. Well, we, we've heard from Carl about what it's like, Anthony. You've done it, you were there, and you actually won the year uh, that he won back in 2011. What's it like? Uh, well, Carl was mainly downstairs throwing up, <laughs> basically, for the three days, so we didn't actually see him at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, you know, it is, it's, a, it's a wonderful experience. Uh, it is challenging. It's a, probably the most challenging thing I've done mentally, uh, be, you know, because you, it's lack of sleep, uh, you, you're sick, and you just got to keep pushing on. You can't just uh, get, on, get off the boat and say, oh, I want a nice eight hour sleep to recover. It, it just doesn't happen. Uh, you know, we we're pretty lucky to, to beat uh, the world famous boat, Wild Oats, and come into the Dermot River at Hobart. It was, it was an up, absolutely amazing experience. So. Um, even though we're very competitive and we want to win, but at the end of the day, we're raising money for uh, the Humpty Dumpty Foundation and the Loyal Foundation have been fantastic in, in doing that. Mm. Okay, well, you've, you've got some good tips there for Erin, but I'm wondering, Erin, I mean, you can't really prepare for vomiting. <laughs> what sort of preparation <laughs> are, you, are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've done one training day out um, in Sydney Harbour. It was beautiful. It was amazing. <laughs> I can't imagine the Bass Strait will be any different to those um, <laughs> those conditions that I experienced out there. But. Look, I was a little bit worried when the guys asked me because I thought I'm not an athlete, clearly. If anyone's seen me on the row or on the footy show, you'll be able to tell that straight away. But, um, but they say it's mental, as Anthony just said. It's, you know, and I think I'm, I'm fairly mentally tough and quite resilient. I did actually ask where I stocked the champagne in the deck chairs for the quiet times, but no one had an answer for me. So I, I don't know if I fully grasp what this is yet. But yeah. no, very excited and great to do it for charity, of course. That's because there are no quiet times. And of course, Michael <laughs> yeah. Clark is joining you. And it's lovely that uh, they've got a brand new baby so Michael will get some time to spend with the baby before he heads off as well. Stay safe on that boat you guys. Good luck with it all and we look forward to seeing what happens over the course of those days. Thank you. Thanks Thank guys. You. Bye. Of Thank course you. the Blue Water Classic and uh, just as a side note I've been offered six times to go on the Sydney to Hobart and all boats have been under 18 foot. So thank you very much for your offers and that's why I've said no on every single occasion. We wish them all the very best. Smart it, man. Yes exactly.